Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to have another quiz on MDM topics. I hope you are following my previous videos. This is also one of the video in that series about Informatica MDM quiz. This quiz is definitely going to help you to prepare for certification as well as for your interview. So let's start today's quiz. The very first question on today's quiz is which of the following are true about the MDM implementation methodology? Option A it is deliverable best. Option B it cannot be used with other methodologies. Option C it incorporates check checkpoint reviews. Option D it includes five phases. I hope you got the question and the ans uh, options also. Finally, we have the option all of the above. That means it includes deliverable base. It cannot be used with other method methodology. It incorporates checkpoints and it includes five phases. And the correct answer is option A, C and D. That is, yes, it is deliverable base. It has checkpoint reviews. and in at and it includes five phases the option it cannot be used it cannot be used with other methodology that is true that is wrong the reason is we can use mdm implementation with any other methodology so there is no restriction around that so i hope you got this question this is more kind of the uh, project management question so if you are getting higher for senior level in mdm like architect or the project manager this kind of questions might be get asked the requirement traceability matrix that is rtm it contains list of all requirement it connects the requirements to design element it includes tests for each requirement it traces the cause of the hub errors and the last option it's used during testing this is another project re project re project related or project management related question and the correct answer is yes it contains list of all the requirements it connects the requirements to the uh, design elements it is not necessary it's from design to requirement it can it could be from the development to the technical design document also it's, it's not limited to this part only it includes the test for each requirement and definitely yes so all these are the correct answers next quiz question key skills needed to implement hub which includes our MDM hub design MDM hub configuration business data subject matter expertise database and infrastructure specialties etl or eai i hope you got the question and the answer this is again the project management or the mdm implementation related question the correct answer is all of the above yes we need to have the skill about the mdm hub design configuration as well as having the good subject matter expertise is going to help it's always good to have the database and infrastructure knowledge because we need to install the mdm hub on the infrastructure like the unix server middleware server etc and the database is mandatory because the mdm solution itself is based on the database and the etl and ei knowledge will help to understand the downstream and the upstreams for your implementation next question mdm data modeling is a combination of which of the following classical logical data modeling object oriented design product performance consideration and guidelines structure system and analysis common patterns and practitioner techniques it's a very good question about the data modeling actually no one asked this but it's good to have the understanding and this is for knowledge purpose the correct answer is yes it is classical 
It is combination of classical logic data modeling, product performance consideration and guidelines, common patterns and practitioner techniques. Next question. Basic normalization principle include no repeating fields, all attributes directly depend on primary key, no transitive dependencies, resolving many to many relationship with intersection table, including summary fields that can be calculated from other fields. And the correctness, correct answer is all of these. That is no repeating fields, all attributes directly dependent on primary key, no transitive dependencies, resolving many to many relationships, including summary field that can be calculated from other fields. Let's have a look on the next question. Creating a P key that is primary key source from a standard address field allows for match on primary key. It prevents address changes from one source from affecting addresses from other sources. It simplifies the process of deactivating addresses, can significantly reduce the number of addresses in the address table, all of the above. Wow, this is very interesting and I think the most of the project uh, for which uh, the sources are not maintaining the uh, the unique column for addresses, the PK source generated based on the address field such as address line 1, address line 2, city, state, postal code, etc. So combination of those will be used to prepare the PK and this is related to that, that approach and I think the correct answer is it allows the match on primary key so that you can use that prevent the address changes from one source from affecting the addresses from other source and can significantly reduce the number of changes in the address option C that is simplify the process of deactivating address it's nothing to do with this picky source object it's totally about how you implement the deactivation Normalized child table permits and condition in match rule. Is it true or is it false? The correct answer is true. Yes, the denormalized child tables permit and condition in the match rule. MBM Hub best, practice, best practices recommend separate entities for people and organization for implementation involving those data domains is it true is it false I'm sure you got the correct answer the correct answer is false it does not recommend to create a separate entity for people and organization we normally create one party model and which can include both these entities next quiz question it is often useful to initially develop a mixed data model that combines the basic entities and relationships denormalized into a party model with some attribute for clarity. Is it true or is it false? And the correct answer is true. Yes, it is useful to initially develop a mixed data model. Next question. Among the things to look for in a data analysis are the availability of primary keys, which fields can come from each source, data cardinality, volumes, or none of the above. So which attribute you will consider for analysis? The correct answer is the availability of the primary keys, field which can come from each source, data cardinality, and volumes. That means all of these. Next quiz question, which of the following are three repository base object that are created by hierarchy manager? Look at this object because those are quite confusing. If you are new, it's very difficult to remember this name. So I would recommend to go through your MDM hub and see this object. That is the easiest way to remember this. The options are RBO hierarchy, RBO entity, RBO class, RBO relation type, RBO relationship. I hope you got the options and the questions too. The correct answer is RBO hierarchy, RBO class and RBO relationship type are these tables get created. RBO entity and RBO relationship there is no such tables. 
next quiz question an entity object is a base object that is part of hierarchy is it true or is it false the correct answer is true yes it is a base object and it's a part of hierarchy entity base objects have a foreign key to rbo class have a foreign key rb have a foreign key to rbo hierarchy can contain records of only one class are always parent base object or none of the above and the correct answer is have a foreign key to rbo class so this is the relationship between the entity base object and the rbo class so that's the reason bo class code column present in the uh, your entity base object so suppose party is your entity base object it it has to have that bo class code that is the relationship between the BO cl RBO class table and the, your entity base object or in other words your party table entity base object uh, I think we just looked into this and that is for today's session I hope you are enjoying these quiz questions uh, th those are I hope those are informative for you guys if you have any questions or queries and would like to know more about this tool you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you again for watching this video have a wonderful time